six NAU mechanical engineering students are learning about sustainability by designing and building a remote controlled plane. NAU's Green Fund Committee funded half of the project. NAZ Today's Michaela Clark is live in First Amendment, Amendment Plaza with more. Michaela? Yeah, Xavier, it's not just a normal RC plane that, we, that will be flying around out here. While its engineers are still putting it together, they say it will be powered exclusively through solar energy, which will make it self-sustainable. Behind these doors, students are building an RC plane with an eight-foot wingspan. The goal is for it to fly on its own power for at least two hours. The plane will weigh less than 10 pounds, including an onboard camera, and will be able to reach speeds of 40 miles an hour. We think that it could potentially be used to um, find gas leaks around campus, or um, it could be used for search and rescue, um, just any kind of long-term flight that would be required. The group is studying how solar energy can be used to help prolong battery life and in the long run, flight times. There's a lot of drones and things that are used in, for military and commercial purposes um, that there's a lot of issues with battery power and the lifespan of the of the drones. About half the budget for the plane was awarded to the students through NAU's Green Fund. McArdle says it was a big help to the project. The Green Fund committee says they chose to fund this project because it involves valuable research incorporating sustainability into the drone market and serves as a way to promote NAU's commitment to sustainability. Since our plane is solar powered, it kind of qualifies it as a self-sustaining project. This project isn't just about sustainability. McArdle says it's a great way to apply the engineering skills she has learned. We want to have a project that we can, we can design from scratch, build from scratch ourselves, test it, and see if it works. The group plans on presenting the project at an undergraduate symposium in April. Hopes to have the plane finished by the end of the week. It will undergo testing and be set up on its first flight. Reporting live in First Amendment Plaza, Michaela Clark, NAZ Today.